okay See, uh, as I told you, there is some material, master data is required for everything, for every process, okay? For QM yeah. master data, there are uh, uh, few data are required. First is the material master, okay? So, we will create okay. the material master where we can okay. we can decide the process of material, okay? How material okay. will flow yeah. in throughout the process, okay? So, uh, okay. T code of material master is MM0. One. Okay. First, we need to create a raw material. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, from a functional consultant's point of view, mm -hmm. they they will start setting up the project exactly what the way you did last week, didn't yes, did they? Yes. So they create the organizational structure and create all the template and then the data. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct, correct. Cool. Got you. Yeah. Thank you. There are no master data available. It is new. Surprising system. Human view is not available, why? Hmm. Should be available. Let me try the experiment. Again there is no master data. Oh. Without given view, how can we do it? Yeah. Otherwise, what we will do is, we will start from the semi-finished product, okay? Okay. okay. This is the semi-finished product, okay? Basic data, okay. data, this is we need to maintain, huh? And MRP 1, 2, 3, 4, and then... Quality management view. Hmm. Okay, these all data are only required for our process. Okay. Our plant is Arivaz P001. When you give your plant, it will automatically give you your storage location. Okay. Okay. P001. So we will hmm. SFG, okay? SFG is no, nothing your semi-finished goods, okay? Okay. Sales and all this we have not created, so not required on the end. Okay. The company code doesn't exist. Company code. That I will see what we can do for a timing is we can and use the Z1, Z only. Okay. Material, this material number will be generating automatically, okay? Basic unit of measures, you can say, pieces, huh? Menu piece. Okay, there is unit, or oh, there was unit also. Uh, unit. Oh, pieces, okay. We are assigning the batch. Do you have to do this for every individual product or yes, piece? Yes, yes. You have to do this for, okay. for each and every product. Okay. For me here, we can say that uh, you have a truck, right? Lot for truck, right? Yeah, we have to truck and also train actually, so that's fine. This is our, our uh, MRP type is the plant. It is all related to PC basically. Okay. MRP2. This is the MRP2 view. Uh, hmm. This is your byproduct. MRP. MRP 3, MRP 4, MRP 4, and job 2. Inspector, this is main uh, uh, part. In this, this is the uh, 
if you remember i told you like what all inspector inspection setup data we we are doing it for materials right yeah for yeah. for zero one is for raw material okay zero three is for work here zero three is for semi finished work here okay so this is your zero three material type against of hmm. zero three type uh, 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 with parallel to zero three i will be assigning zero four also for this material that is okay. uh, good receipt from production because semi finished end of the day will be the good receipt from final production only right got here so this is all our field inspection by classes multiple done okay that that's it so on procurement out active procurement active means that semi finished material can be procured okay semi finished body yeah got you yeah okay since i will be teaching you certificate also so we can say the certificate type is also required e21 certificate okay. confirmatory okay and just save hmm. it that's it the control key does not require certificate yellow type. yellow that just um, uh, information that's it information got you okay okay in in this system 0001 is not for uh, certificate type e21 we can uh, use e002 or something so that's okay okay 